Hey guys, this is Jack Swap from Windows Phone Hacker, and just real quick, I'm going to show you the latest build of my Windows Phone 7 series theme, uh, now called Windows Phone 7 for the HD2. Um, so, there's been a couple of new improvements, including uh, mostly performance, and then there's a couple of new features. So, I'll go ahead and get it logged in, and then I'll show you. Alright, so the biggest optimization is mainly on the uh, home screen where I've changed a couple of the ways it renders things. So basically, the scrolling is much, much smoother now. Um, so give that a try. I'm sure you'll like it. Um, and I've also, on the start menu, I have fixed sized all the programs, there's no more sort of sloppy, random size different text uh, in there. Um, and also under people, um, oh, real quick, favorites, after you add a contact, for example, my favorite, 411 Google, you can hold it, and then it will disappear. And close that out. So, um, also on Facebook, um, scrolling in and out is much smoother, and also scrolling that is much sm smoother. Um, coming back to the home screen, there is of course the games, which was already introduced, I believe. Um, but just a quick rundown on how to use that. Hold down on the screen. Edit, then you can add or delete things from there. Um, also, the lock screen, um, much smoother, no more flickering. Also, the clock is working a lot better, so it no longer shows both numbers at the same time. Um, you can swipe up, and then there's an option to have a password, and you can course it back and just go back to there. So that's a nice feature if you commonly have a password though I will have to point out that you can always just press the start button to get around that unless you specifically disable those buttons using a key binding program. So I'll go ahead and clear this out for you. Um, so really that, that's about it. Um, everything's working a lot better now. Uh, so give it a shot. Uh, the link is in the video description or you can go to my website at windowsphonehacker.com.